Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Shelby and welcome. So today's video is going to be my updated makeup routine. I kept hinting to you guys, I was changing my routine up a little bit, trying new things, doing things differently. A ton of you wanted me to do an updated one, so let's just get right into this. So a little backstory, I already recorded this whole video, like full, be everyday, glam, explained things so well, I was so calm, had all my thoughts collected in that video. It turned out so good until I realized that my camera stopped recording halfway through. So let's get into this again. I'm sorry. This is kind of taking me a little bit to upload because I had to redo it. And I was very upset because my makeup that day looked bomb. Of course, I'm going to start by prepping my skin. I always do this. I always use the Smashbox Primer Water. This is my holy grail, my ride or die. And then I've been loving the Benefit Professional Primer to fill in my pores, make my skin look really smooth. <sighs> the one thing that I need to get is like a hand fan or like one of those little like mini fans that I can just hold up and let it dry because I'm really lazy and I feel like my wrists are like gonna have carpal tunnel in them when they're older or something along those lines just from doing this every time I do my makeup. And then I do let that sit for a little bit before I go in with the Benefit Primer. I always start with my nose because this is where I have the most pores and right in this area. I'm really working this into my skin how funny when I do this. <laughs> and then I'll spread the rest of the product all over my face. Working upwards, of course. You don't want to go downwards because you're going to make yourself get wrinkles sooner than you want. <laughs> skin is ready for makeup application. So one step that I've been doing a lot differently is applying a liquid highlighter before my foundation. I just feel like it makes the biggest difference in the way my skin looks. And I just like the way like it gives like a natural glow underneath your foundation right at like the points that you put the highlighter. And I love using the L'Oreal Glow Boosting Drops and this is in the shade 507. It's just like a really cute pink champagne color. Let's start in my cheeks first. This does dry down pretty fast and I use a sponge to blend it out. So I'm gonna blend this out first before I move on to the rest of my face. And like that's even a lot that I applied, like that, that's a lot. <laughs> this little bottle is gonna last me so long because I literally use the tiniest amount. And it's drugstore price, so love that. For foundation, I have been mixing a lot lately. I don't know, I just can't stick to using one foundation at a time. I just, I don't know, I can't do it. So I love, love, love this combo of using the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation, with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. This is a very luminous, light coverage foundation, but it gives you the most gorgeous, like, healthy-looking glow, hence the name. And then the Jouer one is a very matte, at full coverage, like girl, when I say full coverage, this is full coverage foundation. So mixing these two kind of gives me like the best of both worlds, a little bit of matte with a healthy glow to it. I go in with the Physician's Formula one first, just because it has a doeful applicator. So I just kind of like stripe this all over my face. I look crazy. I'm just going to go in with like the tiniest pump of this. Like I literally go in with the smallest amount, like that much dot this all over and this is all you need i am using a sponge to blend this out just because i'm a sponge kind of girl i don't like brushes my foundation just looks so much better when i use a sponge with just that one dot of jouet it makes the biggest difference in this combo like if i was to use just the physician's formula one alone it would not be this kind of coverage As you can see, I am a little bit burnt and darker than this foundation, so let's hope this oxidizes a little darker or we're going to have to bronze a lot. Because I was outside yesterday, it was finally 80 degrees here in New York. I'm so happy. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape today. This is like my go-to, ride or die, so good. And this is in the shade Light. 
And for those foundation shades, I'll leave them down below in the description box. Recently, I've been blending underneath my eyes last, just because I feel like it's easier to set them once it's blended out last. So, and to set today, I'm going to use the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder, my go-to ride or die powder. Now I'm going to dip my sponge into that powder and set underneath my eyes really quickly. I always do this first so they don't crease. And then I'm gonna go and set the rest of the places where I applied that concealer. Moving on to brows, of course, my ride or die Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. So good, it's better than any brow pencil I've ever tried, honestly. All right, and for my brows, I always spoolie through them first just to give them like their shape so I know where I'm going. Oh, I forgot to plug my eyebrows before this video. I always do that. Nah. Always start in the beginning. So I start stroking really lightly right in here to fill in this area. I do like the lightest strokes ever. Cause I like being able to see like where my hairs are. And then I move on to the tail. And in the front, I do the tiniest strokes, like barely touching my skin. And then I take the spoolie and spoolie through them. So one brow is complete. That's pretty much how I do it now. Like super simple. Just fill it in and move on with your day. So I'm going to go do this one off camera. Clean them up a little bit with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then we'll move on to bronzer, blush, and highlight. So now I just dusted off some of that excess powder wherever I was baking it. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this translucent powder. The tiniest amount. And just set wherever my bronzer, blush, and highlight will go. And to set my brows, I'm going to use the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel just to make sure they're all set in place and the hairs aren't like crazy. Now moving on to bronzer and contour. I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in Light to Medium. This shade right here is literally everything. I'm going to dip into this contouring shade. It's crazy because I never used to contour like at all. I would just use bronzer. And now I can't do a makeup look without contouring. Like, it's so funny. I told you guys, I switched up a lot. I bring this up on my forehead just a little bit. Not too much. And I also chisel out my jaw and my chin with this. Just to make it look a little bit more snatched, you know. Oh, you haven't been in here in a while. Are you my baby? How are you doing? Say hi. Say hi. Mm -hmm. She's more interested in what's on my table. She's like, food? Is that food? I don't think that's food. I don't think that's food. Tell everyone that you love them. Tell them to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell next to it. She's only four and a half pounds. She's a little baby. And she's like, what, seven or eight? I know, you're getting up there. So for my bronzer today, I'm going to use the Physician's Formula, the Butter Bronzer. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. And then just go right over that contour. I've actually been loving this Studio Makeup like loose blush. I'm going to take the tiniest amount of this, tap it off, and then apply it right here. This is super pigmented. So you only need like the tiniest amount with this. I've been setting my face before I apply any highlighter just because I feel like it gives it more of a wet, silky type of look. Not so like powdery. I don't know. I feel like it has something to stick to instead of just powder on powder on powder on powder. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Primer Water. First, I need to curl my lashes. I know, I've been doing this lately. Every time I do my makeup, I can't do my lashes without curling them. I'm going to apply the Benefit Roller Lash on my lashes.
For my highlight today, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit with Nicole Guerrero. I've been really loving this again, and I've been doing damage. Like, mine is, ah! Mine is pretty beaten up. I know it doesn't really look like it, but the shade right here, Glow Getter, is so good. I'm obsessed with it. Even, like, this orange and this pink are so pretty on my skin. Oh, my goodness. I love mixing them, too. They look stunning. So I think I'm going to use Glow Getter and a little bit of Daydream. My highlight just looks so intense and so wet when I spray my face. Makes the biggest difference. And then I take like this little shadow brush. I've been loving this one because it's really small and it's not like too compact and I've been just taking forever lit and applying this right underneath my brow and now I'm going to take forever lit put this in my inner corner and then for my lashes today I'm going to use the Ardell Wispies my favorite lashes of all time I just love how natural looking they are they're really easy to put on and I don't know, I just feel like they look really good on my eyes. I don't really like intense, crazy lashes. Just not my style. Like, I don't like thick. Like, I don't know. Just not my style, you know? Everyone's got a different style. Lashes are on. So what I like to do with my lashes now is apply my mascara first, let it dry, put the lashes on, and then take little tweezers and clamp the lash and my lashes together so like the falsies have something to stick to they stay on so much better and so much longer and one last step for the face before we move on to eyes i go back in with that anastasia beverly hills contour kit and take the yellow shade and the shade this is like the one without any sparkle in it i believe mix the two of these together on a little like flat brush so i'll take these two and go underneath my eyes just to brighten them up a little bit. I just feel like this adds a little bit extra highlighting underneath the eye. Makes it look more awake. And then moving on to lips. I've been obsessed with lip liners. Oh, that's an eyebrow pencil. Lip liners and either like lip glosses or lipsticks. So right now I have the NYX lip liner in Intim Intimidate, yeah, Intimidate, <laughs> um, Need Me, and Nutmeg. I think I'm going to go with Need Me. So lips are lined. This is more of like a purple, like a dark purple, but kind of like living for it. I really like it. And then I think I'm going to take a gloss. So I'm going in with the maybe, maybe, maybe the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Unreal. This is like more of a nude tone. I am obsessed. Where the heck have lip liners been? Like, this looks so good. The only thing with this is it gets all over your teeth. So, just be aware. But I love this color. I love this combo. I need to remember this combo. I'm going to squirt the Smashbox Primer Water first. And then, to really set the face, I'm going to use this Ofra Makeup Fixer Light Mist. That sprayer is so intense. It like sprays a ton on your face. Look at how shiny I look right now. All right, guys. So this is the completed look. This is my updated everyday makeup routine. The only thing I'll switch out is the lippy I'm wearing and if I wear false lashes or not. I hope you guys enjoyed this because I know a ton of you were asking for this type of video because I kept telling you guys. I was giving you little sneak peeks and telling you that I was changing my routine. You were like, ah, uh, girl, spill the tea. Like, let's go. Please, 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 before you leave, comment down below a question 
question for me because I want to do a Q&A very soon and I feel like the only time people ask me questions is my comments down below on my videos. So just ask me any type of question your little heart desires. I would appreciate it so much because a lot of people want Q&As but no one wants to ask me questions. So how am I supposed to do that? And before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 4K. So close. I want to try and hit 5K before my birthday. My birthday is July 4th. So let's make it happen. Just tell all your friends. Check me out. Watch some videos. You know, support your girl. Help her out. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know there was a lot at the end. But don't forget to comment down below your questions. I really need them. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.